you see Nigeria, I've told you that Nigeria is a funny country. If you see insecurity of a thing happening, don't just say, okay, um, the youth just decide to gather themselves and start killing people or start um, this thing, forming a gang. Sometimes they are being controlled by the politician that you, 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 you love and you can write it on your ba- banner and be carrying it about that. Um, I love this one. This is my politician or no one. Some of them are being controlled by those politicians. Imagine now, okay, over five, um, 560 repentant book or around militants commenced training in Bono. 560 of them came to repent. Do you know the atrocity they have committed? So that's why you see, even if the way they still fight hard, the soldiers try their best, you know, to eradicate and remove uh, Boko Haram, you still see them increasing. Yes, you see them increasing because those um, Boko Haram, most of them are powered and support supported by politicians. So even if they capture them and they bring them for punishment, in the back, some of them will use innocent souls to replace them. Yes. Some of them will use innocent people to replace them and release those people back to their work. That's why you how will, how will you do you think some of them will just decide, okay, I want to leave my house and be carrying guns in the bush. Sometimes you reason it that most of them don't do this intentional. They are being controlled understand by the money and the power of politicians so now i want to give you details and explanation concerning the 560 repentant Boko Haram Boko Haram militants you know that commenced training in Bono today so hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching a video on this beautiful channel i want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also do me a favor and hit the notification bell icon so whenever i put down a new video on this channel you watching this video will be among the first people to get the screen. So let me first talk about insecurity going on in Nigeria. The rate at which insecurity increased during this um president Bola Metinotino is massive, you understand? I would lie. And um, you know, in especially in the southeast, it has increased very well in the southeast ever since they you know they arrested and detained Namdi Kano in jail. And my opinion is that most of this insecurity being carried out are sponsored by politicians who will come out in public to, to always condemn i condemn the killing of so, so, so um, amount of soldiers i condemn the killing of so, so people in this state you know they will always condemn you know but they will never put it to action so most of them are being sponsored by these people and um you know the eighth badge of the reintegrations of low risk and minor of 560 repentant boko haram militants have commenced training in maduguri Bono State, Northeast Nigeria. So the essence of this training is to prepare them for life after camp. You understand? So the reintegration training will be on between six and nine months. And um, according to Brigadier General Abdullah Isaac, retired in a stand, who is the Bono State Special Advisor on Security Affairs, the trainees will be introduced to trade on. You know different skills before they are finally taken back to their respective community so he says that they will be receiving lectures for two weeks from academic academicians and the police the national orientation agency religious leader and other relevant sector of the society funny enough so they also receive you know um starter packs at the end of the program before being returned to their community who had screened them for the training so general isa said this is the eighth batch we have earlier done first seventh of which gave us seven thousand nine hundred and thirty plus this number we have 560 that will be leaving by next week out of the you know seven nine seven thousand nine thirty and then we have not received any negative reports from anybody you know one thing i observe is that okay these people are set to be repentant um Boko Haram. they are in training and they will be released back to society to still mingle with the people nobody know how many people they have killed nobody will know how many damages they have caused you understand and you know one thing i observe is that that's why if you see our tech um tech life in nigeria is actually going down compared to that country because if they should catch somebody now who is able to act 
um let's say maybe a bank manager account or an efcc officer account you will severely punished but they will never know that okay this person have such an idea that can be used to fight other fraudulent act the person will punish sometimes they will sentence him to jail sometimes he will suffer suffer but they don't know that the person has some potential which is going to increase and help the um um com uh, the, the country so that's why our tech and technology um aspect is really dying day by day and um my message have always been as soon as they get back to the community they should be involved in whatever activity the community is doing be it naming ceremonies burial jumat prayer they should all work together within the three years of program so much have been achieved in the time of people returning to farm and the general gradual return of peace so and i now want you guys to go to the comments right now and share your opinion concerning what you think have a good day ahead